Welcome to simplify using exponential laws. All right, in this uh, tutorial, we are going to be using exponential laws to simplify expressions. All right, so the first thing that you got to do, you need to know all five exponential laws. All right, and you need to know their names and what they state. Okay, for example, product rule. When adding powers of the same base, add the exponent. Question rule, when dividing powers of the same base, subtract the exponent. Raising the power rule, when multiplying uh, two powers and you have an exponent outside the bracket, the exponent outside the bracket multiplies each power's exponent inside the bracket. So in a nutshell, just the exponent also the bracket multiplying each exponent inside the bracket each exponent inside the bracket and then you've got your inverse rule right which basically mean any number with a negative exponent can be written as an inverse of itself with a positive exponent right and lastly zeroth rule any number with an exponent of zero is equal to one. All right, so now let's start with simplifying. So we're gonna look at a bit of some complex, a little bit complex questions, okay, for grade eight. So this is a grade eight tutorial. We'll do the one for higher, more, more advanced. All right, so example number one could be you've got You've got uh, x squared times y to the 3, okay, into times as well x to the 4 times y to the 3, okay. Then what happens? Okay, so these are multiplying each other. So with the x, you've got the same base. Okay, so you're going to start by writing your basis in this case because only multiplication is involved here. So you write your basis, your basis are x and y. All right, those are the two bases that you have there. Then for the x, you're going to say add the exponent 2 plus 4. For the y, you're going to say 3 plus 3. So this will give you x to the exponent of 6 and y to the exponent of 6. Example 2, you could be having uh, z to the exponent n, y to the exponent 2, q to the exponent of a, all in bracket, so, that's a 2, all in bracket, and on the other side, you could be having q to the exponent of 4, and then your z to the exponent of 3. So how do you work that out? So first, write your basis. Your basis are z, y, q. So for z, you've got n and 3, so you'll, you'll add the exponent, so that would be n plus 3. All right, you can't, you, you, you can't go any further than that in this case. All right, so for your y, all right, it will remain a 2, because there's no y on the other bracket. For q, it's going to be your a plus 4. Right, so that's how you can deal with something like that. And three, right? Maybe you might have something like this. X to the exponent of four, right? Multiplied by y to the exponent of 
seven and then q to the exponent of two and then you have x to the exponent of six y to the exponent of three then q to the exponent of just let's say zero all right so this is going to result into all right so you are going to apply the question rule all right so for the number one and number two we apply the product rule adding the exponent for division we apply the question rule which is subtraction of exponent so it's going to be numerator exponent minus denominator exponent so it's going to be like that for so you write your other base y which is going to be 7 minus 3 for q is going to be 2 minus 0 then this will give x squared y to the 4 and q squared as well okay number four right you might have something like a to okay sorry something wrong there on the top one okay this was supposed to be a minus two okay so I hope you can see that x minus to the minus 2, y to the positive uh, 4, q to the positive uh, 2 there. So I need to just finish up that one before starting this one. Okay, so we know that we don't like writing a negative exponent. So we will proceed this to meaning 1 over x to the 2 times, okay, y to the 4 and times q to the 2 okay this will result in an overall uh, overall answer of overall answer of y to the 4 q to the 2 all over x squared right so that would be your final answer now let's look at the fourth example you might have example let's say negative 2 to the exponent of 3 and then you have 2 to the exponent of 4 and y to the exponent of 6 and then also z to the exponent of 4 and then all over 2 to the exponent of 7 and then y to the exponent of 15 z to the exponent of 2 you will take this okay so first thing we we'll say okay negative times positive so the negative here multiplies the positive here right multiplying same a different signs you get negative so 2 to the 3 times 2 to the 4 it's going to give you 2 to the uh, 3 plus 4 which is 7 okay and then you take your uh, so at the bottom so you're gonna have something like this and then your y to the 6 and 
z to the 4 all over 2 to the 7 y to the 15 z to the 2 this will therefore equal to right negative and uh, so positive so this negative is being divided by that positive different signs answer is negative so same base of 2 exponents are going to subtract 7 minus 7 right which is going to give you a 0 and then you're going to say y 6 minus 15 which is going to give you going to give you a minus 9 and then finally z z 4 minus 2 which is going to give you a 2 so here what you have is 2 to the 0 will become a 1 so you have minus 1 times okay that y to the minus 9 is going to be 1 over y to the 9 right times z to the 2 so final answer in this case is going to be minus 1 z to the 2 over y to the 9 because any number multiplied by 1 is obviously that number so a letter multiplied by 1 is that letter so let's look at a little bit more even more complex so you can when I write an example you can pause the video and work it out and then afterwards you can play it and see if you got the answer right right what if we've got x okay all over right then you're going to get first so when we're solving simplifying uh, exp uh, exponents right or using exponential laws we use process called PEDMAS right? I'm sure you have followed uh, you are familiar with board mass already so PEDMAS what this means is that we first must sort out the powers then exponents and the rest you know them division multiplication then addition and subtraction okay so in this case we will start with raising the powers okay we've got an exponent outside the bracket so we will start with that would be uh, sorry x to the 2 times 2 right and y to the 3 times 2 all over x to the 4 y to the 8 this will give x to the 4 and y to the 6 all over x to the 4 and y to the 8 this will give x to the 4 so that would be x to the 4 minus 4 which is 0 and then y 6 minus 8 which will therefore give us minus 2 right this means that that's 1 times 1 over y to the positive 2 therefore equals to 1 over y squared that's your final answer right let's look at some with okay example which example was that one
Okay, so number five, so let's do number six. So you can say, what if you had root x to the nine, y to the negative 15, and then q to the 24, then you had a cube there. So what does this mean? This means that you've got all those numbers, right? x to the 9, y to the negative 15, and q to the 24 with 1 over the root, which is 3. Then you're going to say, okay, that's x, 9 divided by 3, y, negative 15, divided by 3, q is going to be 24, divided by 3, and all of that is going to be x, to the exponent of 3, y to the negative 5, right, because opposite sides, and then q is going to be 24 over 3, which gives 8. Right, so this means, sorry, this means you've got x to the 3 times 1 over y to the 5, because there was a negative exponent there, write it as an inverse, so we use the inverse rule, and then q to the 8. So this is going to give a final answer of x to the 3, y, I mean q, not y, q, q to the 8, all divided by y to the 5. Okay, let's work on maybe something a little bit complex. Okay, so let's say you've got and then square root of y the four. And then you've got, let's just say q to the 3. Then outside there, you've got, you've got a 4. Right, so what's going to happen, the first thing is, you're going to work out what's inside. First, they raise the powers. So you're going to have uh, square root of x, 2 times 4, y, 4 times 4, q, 3 times 4, which will give you root of x to the x to the 8 y to the 16 and then q to the 12 right if there is nothing there i always say it's a 2 so this means that you have x 8 over 2 and then y going to be 16 over 2, q is going to be 12 over 2, and that's going to be x to the 4, y to the 8, q to the 6. Right, so that will be your final answer. 
All right. What if you have, lastly, number eight? So what if you have square root of the root of then you have three y to the six and then you've got that and then afterwards that is exponent of This is exponent of minus 3. Let's make it like that. And then uh, all over all over x to the exponent of 2 y to the exponent of 3, then all minus 2. Okay, so to work this out, start by raising the um, by the powers, okay? So you start with it in the bracket. So you will have to say, for the top part, right, that's x, 3, let me put a 3 there, so that would be x, 3 over 3, and then y, 6 over 3, all right, and all that is having a negative exponent, minus 3. Right, and then you are going to have the bottom, it's going to be x 2 times minus 2, y 3 times minus 2, this is going to be equal to, so x y to the 2 with a negative exponent all over x to the negative 4 y to the negative 6 so in the end you multiply all that in you're going to have x to the negative x to the negative 3 y to the negative 6 all over x to the negative 4 and y to the negative 6 so what where will this take you all right so you now start writing the basis one base so it's going to be minus 3 minus the base at the bottom. It's already as a negative, so it will be like that. And then y minus 6 minus into minus 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 6. So this is the same as x minus 3. Let me do this. I'll write this properly so that would be same as x minus 3 negative times negatives same sign so they are going to make a positive it's gonna be positive 4 so and then y minus 6 negative times a negative 
so they're going to make a positive 6. So overall, you're going to get x to the exponent of 1 and y to the exponent of 0. So the answer is just x. That would be your final answer. All right, so I hope you have seen how to deal with a little bit more complex questions like this. So at times you need to consider your integers Okay, so for example, if you got uh, example number 9, like this, so if you have negative 24, right, divide by 8, so you have a to the 3, b to the 4, and then you have a to the 5, then b to the 7, right, b to the 7, and let's say that is multiplied by negative 2. So, you will say, okay, so first sort of the numbers, negative divided by positive is negative. 24 divided by 8, all right, is going to be 3. All right, then you are going to now start sorting out the letters. So you got how many bases? So first you sort out the power. So you leave those ones as they are. 3 as it is, b to the 4 over a. Right, because the 8 already divided there, so it's 8 to the 5. B to the 7 times minus 2, that's going to be minus 14. Then, uh, then you're going to have minus 3. A to the 3 minus 5. And then B, 4 minus minus 14 then it's going to be minus 3 a to the minus 2 b to the 4 minus times minus same sign so that's positive so which is going to be equal to minus 3 a to the minus 2, b to the 18, right, that's the same as minus 3 times 1 over a squared times b to the 18, right, so 1 over a squared we are using the inverse rule. So, and then this will be minus 3, b to the 18, all of this divided by a squared. That would be your final answer. Right, I hope this was useful for you and you've got to understand how to work lots and lots of examples. So you should be ready to work out any example at this point after listening to all of this. All right, goodbye and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.